All right, fellas. So, um, I I've been having a lot of fun making videos recently, and um, seems like you guys have been enjoying the bizarre flipping videos a lot. And I am gonna be making other videos other than bizarre. For example, on stream, I was given the idea to do baby mode speedrun on minecraft so hopefully i'm gonna be doing that soon i think that'll be a lot of fun and i want to add a lot more personality to my videos but anyways that's besides the point um yeah i'm back here with another bizarre flipping video this is the definitive guide on how to bizarre flip everything you need to know not just going to be giving you specific items this time although i will be giving you examples of different things in bizarre flipping in general so sit back relax and um learn how to make millions Really quickly before we get into the video, leave a like and subscribe, discord link in the description. Also guys, if you really don't care that much about everything I have to say, or you just want to really quickly see something that just shows you everything you need to learn how to bizarre flip, or everything you need to be good at bizarre flipping, skip to the end of the video, I'll have it timestamped, I'll have it in the pinned comment, so I'll have a list of everything that I go through in the video, a really quick list, so if you don't really have the time, you don't really care for what I have to say, uh, just skip to the end of the video, timestamp in the description. Okay guys, so there's a few different topics that I wanted to cover in terms of bizarre flipping, and the first thing I want to tell you guys is to always have a goal and a plan on how to reach that goal. So for example, if you have, for example, like 6 mil to start and you want to have 15 mil by the end of the day, you should know what items you want to flip, know how often you're going to be flipping them and how much profit they make per flip okay so basically what i mean by all that guys is you want to have all of the math done in your head beforehand you want to have everything like planned out right so if you want to do this to make tons of money you're gonna have to have everything planned out and do this efficiently so if i have for example enchanted bones i want to flip a big stack of enchanted bones which will make one enchanted bone if i want to do 71,680 bones which is the max buy order so now i want to flip it into enchanted bones and sell it for 1794 that would be 338 coins profit quick math and you would you would actually already know how much profit you would make beforehand and you would know exactly how much you're making right so you want to have a goal a plan and know how much you're making before you actually start flipping all right guys so the next topic i wanted to cover is to flip items that are reasonable for how much money you have to start with so i see a lot of people doing this and messing this up so bad they see an item for example super enchanted eggs or enchanted grilled pork which always have super big gaps and they say hmm, i can make a lot of money off of that i only have like 300k and they try and flip one of them you, you don't you don't want to do that guys so that's actually one of the worst things you can do and i see all of these people doing it and it makes me go absolutely bonkers so what you want to do is if you only have like a mil or less than a mil flip small items first like wheat is good to flip carrots are good to flip it's literally almost double profit to flip carrots you can flip potatoes enchanted potatoes are really good profit if you don't have a lot of coins uh, Enchanted pumpkins used to be good, but they're not good anymore. So you see what I'm saying? So if you don't have a lot of coins, flip the smaller items. And as you flip those smaller items, you're going to realize that you're increasing your bank, you're increasing your income. Then you're going to be able to flip these bigger items. For example, enchanted ink sacks, or for example, catalysts. Catalysts are really good to flip. Usually, now now they're bad. Hyper catalysts are really good to flip. Foul flesh is really good to flip right now. It's 2K. You know, like if you don't have a lot of coins, don't flip the big items. So really quickly, one thing you want to make sure you have is the Bizarre Flipper upgrade. It makes sure you get a lot less tax, like, it might not seem like a lot, but it really does help you out, and if you're going to lose money because of tax, this will most likely make sure that you don't actually lose any money. You might break even, but you won't lose money most likely, and you can even buy gems to have zero tax eventually. It's, it's, it's so worth it, guys. It's literally free and yeah i would just highly recommend doing this because it'll help you out in bizarre flipping a lot okay moving on from that i wanted to give an example of a few times where an item will have a big gap but it won't actually be that good to flip because it won't fill or whatever so an example of that is xp bottles they just got added to the bizarre so colossal experience bottles have an 80k gap but they never, ever, 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 ever fill. They take forever to fill. Same thing with enchanted grilled pork. Same thing with super enchanted eggs. Same thing with summoning eyes. 
super compactors. You don't want to flip these items. They're not that good. They don't fill. They won't fill. And you can make a lot of money doing a lot of the smaller items. Alright guys, so one of the best ways to maximize your profit with bizarre flipping is to know how the prices fluctuate and keeping an eye on the market. So what I mean by that is you want to constantly be coming over to bizarre doing slash bz if you have a cookie and checking the prices of all the items. Not all the items, obviously, but a lot of the items. A lot of the items that you want to flip. So what I'll do is every couple of minutes, if I'm doing something, I'll do slash bz like from fishing. I love to fish and bizarre flip at the same time. Really good method of making money. So I'll always be checking on these different items like enchanted carrots on a stick, big gap, no, nobody sells them. So don't even try flipping it. It only has 1.2k insta sells in the seven days. That is really, really bad. That is awful. That will never, ever fill. And you have enchanted golden carrots, which have a 4k gap, which are really good. So you know what I'm saying? So you just want to come to the bazaar, look at all the items, look 3k gap. That's good. Pumpkins, oh, not that good right now. Shouldn't do those. Red mushroom. Like, you you, you want to make sure you know how all the prices of all the items are changing and just just know the prices of all the items in general at specific times. It's, it's a really good way to just know how much money you're going to be able to make or just know not to invest into a specific item. And if you know, if you know a specific item is going to drop in price, do not invest into it. I've done this many times. I'm like, this item is such a big gap and I'll invest into it and then I'll make zero money because then it drops the second I invest into it. Just like during events, for example, so you have werewolf armor, right? Everybody wants to get it during the spooky event because it's way cheaper. But if you take advantage of that and you go to the uh, werewolf skin, so look at that, 48k, 65k, right? But there's no spooky event, so it's not gonna fill. You wanna wait until the spooky event happens this will go down to like 30k 25k maybe and then you want to wait until it goes back up to 65k you can sell it all and you'll make millions guys i'm telling you that is one of the best ways to make money make sure you know how the market will fluctuate a uh, short little intermission here just to make sure you are indeed subscribed like if you, if you look down below the video and you see that button that says subscribe and it's still red why like this is just a short little intermission like 15 seconds like come on click it all right so my last point here is to always 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 if you're bizarre flipping and you make an order and it is not filling cancel it cancel it and start another one in a different item or the same item it doesn't matter just cancel it because you're not going to make any money because that means that somebody else and most likely multiple people have put orders in above you and yours is not going to fill so just cancel it i usually give it like five to ten minutes if it's not filling if it's not getting constant flow of items just going up and up and up until it fills then i just cancel it i just cancel it immediately and then i start another one and i sell what i already got and i say whatever right so personally i do that with every single one of my items that i flip I, i'm always canceling orders and re remaking them because if they aren't filling i'm telling you they will not fill unless you get extremely lucky and somebody sells a shit ton and you just so happen to be the second order, but most likely it's not gonna fill. So um, quickly, I'm just gonna give you guys the conclusion, the list of things I said I would give you at the beginning of the video. So um, here it is, it'll be on screen for about five, 10 seconds, pause the video, screenshot it, whatever you need to do. So if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, you already know what to do. Comment down below if you made this far in the video. Uh, tell me some of your favorite items to flip, tell me how you do it and uh let me know if i missed anything other than that guys I hope you all have a beautiful wonderful rest of your day and peace